Hello everyone, it's Lisa Loving Dalton and I'm here to chat with you today about my new book, Falling for the Stars, uh, Stunt Gals Tattle Tales. And this book is um, just now on Amazon, so I'm very excited uh, to share with you some stories about that. And uh, I did a couple of videos yesterday, so you can look at those on my feed. It, <coughs> And um, today, I'm actually going to be talking today about a couple of stories in, that are not in Falling for the Stars, which is on Amazon. You can see over my shoulders, there's a picture of me from The Last Dragon and a shot with uh, Cher. And of course, up here is my picture with Madonna, where I was... Um, stunt doubling her on Saturday Night Live. So you guys have seen me in a lot of movies. You probably never knew it. Um, most of the time, if I was doing a good job, you had no idea uh, that it was me. And so I did films like Splash, Ghostbusters, Money Pit, Highlander, Crocodile, Din Dundee, FX, Married to the Mob, and uh, a lot of TV shows I did. As an actor, I did things like ER, and um, I did Carnival, and um, yeah, a bunch of other TV shows and things like that. So, um, some of the movies that are uh, one of the projects I wanted to tell you about today that wasn't actually in, is I don't actually talk about in Falling for the Stars, is um, a commercial I did for a certain pizza company. So this um, scene, one of the things I do in my book is I sort of set the scene for what it was that I was being asked to do as a stunt woman. Uh, so, in, so the scene is uh, a fraternity house, one of those big old Victorian homes that's been turned into a good old fraternity house. It's got uh, one of those major curving staircases that goes around to the various different rooms. And what I am doing is as a pizza delivery person, I'm carrying the pizza that I have and I am finishing delivering one pizza to one door and I've got to go down the hallway up on the second story. Um, hey, Mark Anthony Vaca, thanks for joining us. Um, so uh, I am um, I'm telling a story, Mark Anthony, about a pizza uh, commercial that I did. And um, so my job was to be walking through this Victorian house up on the second story, delivering pizza to some fraternity guys. And uh, because I've got the box um, in, uh, in my hand, I don't see that the um, there's a skateboard uh, in the hallway and I accidentally step on a skateboard and ricochet off a couple of walls in the hallway and then I get out to the banister and I fall over the banister and then I land safely without ever messing up the pizza. And so this was this was my task or the illusion we were going to create, um, and, uh, and so one reason I'm telling this story is because I mean it was really fun to do, um, but trying to get it so that I could be in control while on the skateboard ricocheting off the walls and not actually lose the my actual balance, um, uh, and at one point when I ricocheted off the wall, the wall collapsed. And I was quite mortified. I put a big hole in the wall. <laughs> and I was thinking, oh man, this beautiful Victorian home that they've, um, the production company has rented, because it wasn't a real fraternity house, um, you know, now has a broken wall. And everybody in production was just like, oh, no problem, because we'll just fix it. And within a half an hour, it looked like we'd never been there. 
And I, honestly, I thought after that, I don't think I'll ever loan my house to a production company. <laughs> Hey, Ms. Jana Karba, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. So if you guys have any questions and anyone else is listening, just uh, pop in a, a comment to say hi. Um, the, uh, ask me a question or, or tell me anything about your experience as an actor or uh, something that uh, we might uh, enjoy talking about. I've got my new book, uh, Falling for the Stars. You can see it's upside down. Well, I'll turn that around, but I can actually like switch it around to make it face you guys correctly because I guess it's in reverse. So um, uh, that's perfectly good. I actually just got this copy today. I'm very excited. It's got lots of pictures in it and um, it's been uh, quite, a, quite a journey getting this together. So um, I am very excited. I wanted to show um, uh, another picture that I know some of you are out there are um, Last Dragon fans, and so you might not have seen this picture. Uh, but in um, in the book, you will read that. You got to buy it today. Help me get over the um, <laughs> onto the number one. That would be great. Amazon uh, um, on paperback would be amazing, and you could get actually if you buy the paperback, you can get the ebook for free. So I made that a special for today. And, um, and so, whoop, I'm upside down today. today. That's good. Um, here is a picture of me from The Last Dragon that not many people have actually seen. And you'll see in the, read in the book about these shoes, which you're going to take a good look at. And the movie theater that is in that um, scene that we do with, show enough when we come bursting into and intimidate um, Bruce Leroy uh, in The Last Dragon. So uh, just wanted to give everyone a good shot of well, what those shoes look like and how fun they were on that downhill slope. Another thing I wanted to show you guys, uh, some of you might be interested in seeing is, you know, over the years, we all have to have promotional shots and when we're in the industry. And I came across today my very, very, very first professional headshot. So if you're ready to laugh, here goes. And thank you, Suzanne Bursbach, for joining us. We're really happy. Um, I'm showing, and Brian Dakota, my stunt buddy, thank you um, for joining us. So I'm just about to show my very, very first professional headshot. So I'm inviting everyone to get ready to laugh um, before you go purchase Falling for the Stars, Stunt Gals Tattletales. And here it is, guys. And you'll see, I don't know, you, you guys get this backwards, but my professional name, Misa Loving, there. And this was my very first professional headshot. And uh, I guess I've changed a little bit since then. <laughs> yeah, it's just the hair. The hair is a little longer and and it's it's still almost black and white, isn't it? <laughs> So if you guys have any questions, I would love for you to just enter them into the comments and I would be able to answer them for you right now. Meanwhile, I'm going to show you one more of my early headshots. And uh, this was the first professional shot I had taken in New York. The other one I actually had taken in Maryland before I moved to New York back in 1976. So here goes. And this was taken by an amazing photographer, Ken Howard. And hopefully Ken's going to come and shoot some more shots for me. But here it is. So I've had some people ask me about the name. You know, how am I Lisa Loving? How am I Lisa Dalton? Lisa Loving Dalton? Uh, how did that, all of that work? Well, Loving is my middle name. And um, that's on my birth certificate. It's a family name. It's a nice Swedish name. And... Um, when I was experimenting with performing in um, high school, hey, Sean Flanagan, thank you for joining us, um, talking about my name and how it developed, um, I noticed that when I put, when I used my middle name in my programs that everybody remembered it. And at one point I thought, you know, as my mom's maiden name, it, it would be nice. And most people I knew really enjoyed it. 
And But when I went to get my very first um, New York headshot printed, um, well, actually, it was this one when I brought this with me to get it printed. I was in the photo printing store, and they said, what name do you want? And so I had to make a decision at that point, and I did. Um, made it Lisa Loving, and I made sure to put the umlaut over the O because Linda Lovelace was very popular at that time, and I didn't want everybody thinking that I was... Linda Lovelace, and um, if you don't know who she is, well, that's fine. You can f figure it out, look it up. <laughs> so I always insisted on getting the umlaut on the O whenever possible. That wasn't very possible in, in our stunt credits, as you can imagine. So um, eventually, when I moved to Los Angeles some years later, uh, after 12 years of uh, working in um, New York, I found out that there was a Lisa Loving who was the um, personal secretary of Hugh Hefner from Playboy. Now, in truth, I had actually met her roommate when she lived in New York the very day I picked my name. And she was in that photo store with me. And so... Ah, uh, she also helped me decide to put the umlaut over it. Well, she wasn't, of course, then working for Hugh Hefner and then in L.A. Despite the fact that I had all these theater credits and everything, I couldn't figure out why I wasn't getting more auditions. And I realized that maybe people were thinking I was that girl from Playboy. So I walked into my agent's office and asked her, and she said, yes, some casting people had, in fact, um, decided to, uh, you know, dismiss me and not invite me to audition because they thought I was an unqualified actress. And so I changed my name. Dalton is my great Great grandmother Margaret Dalton's last name. So Lisa Loving Dalton. You'll see credits on IMDb uh, as Lisa Loving in many of the stunts that I stunt films that I did, and you'll see um, many uh, credits as Lisa Dalton as well. So I'm so excited you guys are here. So. What do you think, guys? Do you have any questions that you'd like to ask me? I'd love to answer some of your questions. Just enter them into the um, uh, the little feed, and uh, that would be fantastic. I have um, made a uh, new offer today, so anyone who buys the paperback can actually download the ebook for free. So that would be very exciting, and I'm hoping that I will get to number one in um, books. That would be fantastic because I'm already number one in Kindle. Thank you guys so much for supporting me on that. And I've got um, one more picture by the amazing Ken Howard, which was kind of the look that uh, is another story I never told in the book. Uh, today's the Untold, Untold Stories episode. And this is my hit woman look. And I played a hit woman on the uh, TV soap opera, As the World Turns. And my boss was David McCallum, who you may know as Ducky or Ilya Kuryakin. <laughs> and um, my good friend, Lisa Kane, who's an amazing stunt woman herself, owns an uh, awesome gymnasium called Twist in Richmond, Virginia. Um, she was his right-hand security guard lady, and, um, and I was one of her henchwomen. And uh, so he, he was my boss. And it was very, it's a very interesting thing about this career because you never know what's going to happen. He had this big, um, you know, David McCallum had this big career in Man From U.N.C.L.E. and then kind of disappeared. And so now he was doing a special, you know, several months on As the World Turns as a guest star. And who knew that he would wind up being Ducky and have a whole new career much later in life. So for anyone who's out there aspiring, 
um, and working to sustain or create or generate activity in the entertainment industry, you just got to stay with it, believe in yourself, and uh, make sure that you trust that, you know, the universe is going to support you in one way or another, and it's never over till it's over. And the amazing thing is that there's space and room for anyone of any age, any gender, any ethnicity. So that's a really exciting thing. And that's one of the things uh, that that question about believing in yourself, that's one of the things I love about the movie Barry Gordy's The Last Dragon that I was honored to be in. Um, now celebrating his 31st year, um, The Last Dragon has such an incredible message. It never quits. It's about finding the glow within you. And I have a special chapter in my book about my experience with The Last Dragon. So I want to thank you guys so much for checking in with me today. Spread the word. And I really appreciate all your support. So go out and find your glow. And let's keep uh, the world smiling and happy and on the go.